our visit is really important and really special. Uh, getting to make friendships and getting to know the Irish culture, but also um, getting to know student unions and student senates and trying to, to form a, a really tight relationship between Irish universities and Bethlehem University and to establish exchange programs uh, that enable Palestinians to come to Irish universities and perhaps uh, Irish students to come to Palestine. Well, the purpose of this trip is uh, basically representing the Student Senate of Bethlehem University with the student unions of uh, Ireland, basically. We are invited by the UCD Student uh, Union to actually let them know more about the situation of Palestine, the political situation of Palestine, and how do students live and survive and ask for the right to education. About six or eight months ago, Professor John Kelly came to me and said that he uh, he'd been involved in an organization called Friends of Bethlehem University in Ireland. And this was all new to me. Essentially, the relationship was very strong between UCD and Bethlehem University and it had kind of dwindled over the years um, and just hadn't been maintained. So naturally, we took it, I took it very seriously. A former registrar, someone who holds considerable prestige around the university and, and any time they ask for something, we're, we're very, very interested in, um, in facilitating that. The focus of this week was about showing the human aspect of the conflict in Palestine and what they go through on a day to day basis. So this week overall, we've gone through, uh, I suppose, a couple of, we've done a couple of different things. We've linked them up with student leaders from all around the country in a historic meeting in, in Newman House. Um, we have met university presidents uh, from DCU, Minute, UCD. Uh, we spent some time in, in DIT as well. And we met representatives that are, I suppose, pro-Palestine or uh, understand the conflict in Leinster House. Um, it was a, a pretty serious statement of presidents from student unions from all around the country to come to Newman House and meet these students. But what we remarked from that was that these students are both extraordinary and ordinary. Donald McLachlan Byrne, the president of Trinity Students Union, spoke very well about how extraordinary their presentations were, how brave they were to cross the borders and to, to go through that trip just to be able to spread the message. But they were also very ordinary. Elias, the uh, vice president of the Student Senate, said, I am a human being. I deserve freedom of mobility and I deserve equality the same as everyone else around this table. And, and it really struck home, I think, to a lot of us around the table that said, these people are the same as us. They're extraordinary individuals, but at the same time, they're just like us. And, and this, the kind of suffering that they're going through is just, just unacceptable. The Friends of Bethlehem University was set up in the 1980s uh, with the support of the Irish government and the European Union uh, to give aid to uh, that new university. And uh, UCD had a very strong link, academic link, with that Bethlehem University. And some of the staff spent periods of months, indeed one or two, up to a year, helping them in their early years with the development of their academic programmes. So over the years since that, uh, quite a number of staff from both UCD and Bethlehem University have exchanged and met each other. But this is the first time uh, the students have come here. We, we feel that the difficulty which the students have in, uh, in participating in university and particularly participating in international programmes like the EU Erasmus programme uh, is something that should be looked at and the students in the in UCD Students' Union and in all the other Students' Union were in Ireland were very enthusiastic to have a reception for the students from Bethlehem University. Well, the, the particular mission of this visit was to initiate a dialogue between uh, their Students' Union uh, and the Students' Union in the Irish universities. The long-term objective is that we can arrange for continuing exchange of students between our universities. <laughs> we presented small presentations about the difficulties that student, Palestinian students face from, for example, mobility and how it's difficult to just get to the university and other issues that face um, uh, students every day in their daily life. Uh, Osama talked about the history of student senate in Palestine and its effective role in trying to make a change. Yes talked about exchange programs and the possibility of Palestinian students participating in these exchange programs and what might be the difficulties they face on their way to other countries. Uh, I talked about uh, BDS, boycott, divestment and sanctions, and also the role of students and how can they make a change or impact concerning the conflict. 
Mira talked about mobility and the difficulties that Palestinians Palestinian students face moving around in Palestine and the internal and external restrictions. Also about non-violent resistance. Uh, my name is Mark Sohalorn. I am incoming president of New City Students Union. Um, and this week, this week we had four students over from University of Bethlehem. Um, we've been, I've, this week I've been predominantly driving them around. But uh, we've been getting to see different things and hearing different things about their day-to-day -day lives and uh, it's been quite frightening really. Um, we consider problems here in, in university on scales of maybe finance and just day-to-day -day lives of students but there's never a problem in the university with an army stopping them getting to college. Well, um, we can start by you know the basic disruption of, of uh, daily activities of a university. Uh, when um, the military uh, Israeli army uh, raids campuses and closes down towns and campuses, then it disrupts the uh, daily operations of any uh, higher education institution in Palestine, including Bethlehem University. Uh, the, other, the other thing that is really uh, problematic and is really, I, I think, a tragic humanitarian crisis is the restrictions on the mobility of uh, our students. The fact that uh, about 40% of Bethlehem's, uh, Bethlehem University students come from East Jerusalem, um, and these students have to cross checkpoints on a daily basis. So there's this thing like the people who live inside the Green Line, which is called the 1976 line, basically inside the borders of Israel they get the blue ID. It, it's like basically these are the people who did not leave back when the massacres were, you know, done and so on. And the people who were born in the West Bank or Gaza get the green ID. The difference is that when you have the blue ID, you can just go around basically every place in Palestine except for Gaza, of course. But the people in the West Bank actually need a permit to get in there to just, for example, visit Jerusalem. Whether it's Christian or Muslims, they need that permit to get into like I've been saying the holy places. Um, being a Palestinian student, you might face checkpoints every day on your way to university, uh, which can stop you from pursuing your education. And this is one of the obstacles that um, Bethlehem University students face. For example, imagine having uh, an exam at 8 a.m., but you are stopped by the checkpoint for three hours you miss the exam and you miss your university classes. It's uh, a challenge that you continue despite those struggles and difficulties. It means a lot to be here in Ireland because you can't travel a lot due to the, due to the constraints that the Israeli government imposes on the Palestinian people. The, for us as Palestinians, we can't leave our country whenever we want or at any time we want and we need so we have to go through a lot of like humiliation and violation crossing the borders and so on. Actually it took me two days to reach Ireland. Instead my my leader, Dr. Jamil, because he has an Israeli citizenship, he went directly through the Binger Yon Airport, the Israeli one, and he came directly I think in seven hours. So imagine, it took him seven hours to reach here, and it took me two days to reach here, so... And so far the trip has been going really well. Uh, we have met an incredible number of uh, great people, including students, student leaders. We have met university presidents. Uh, it has been really great, um, um, a great opportunity for our students to sort of meet a, a wide array of people here to be able to share their stories with them and tell them a little bit more about the things that go on in their lives as they pursue their education at Bethlehem University. Uh, we have a busy schedule but also a fun one and a really interesting one. So today we're meeting the president. Uh, it's very exciting and I can't wait. <laughs> We went inside the house and we had to sign our names on the paper. So when you're at, we have no troubles. <laughs> and we waited for the president and he showed up and we took a, a photo with him. Then he invited us for a tea 
cup of tea. We sat, we sat and we discussed a lot of things about the Palestinian situation there. And then we took a tour inside the house and then said outside the house. They explained a lot about the history of the house and who was living here, who was living there, and the story of every wall in the house. Actually, it's a nice city, and the people here are very generous. They are very nice. They treated us very well, and actually, I'm feeling like home because the people here treat uh, treat us like we are like you feel like you are inside your family. I honestly love the fact that people here are so open to knowing new stuff, and when we met the student unions, it was the best part. They were all nice, really, and um, I'm just, let's say, I'm looking forward to coming back to Ireland after this trip, yeah. I have met lots of Irish uh, students and Irish people, and generally they are all so friendly and welcoming. But in the end, uh, I think we're all humans and we share the same uh, purpose or same different yeah. place in general, but except that each one of us comes from a different part of the world, faces different political situations.